Okay, so this is part two. Part two. Uh, like I said, I planted these. They're going to grow together and they're going to grow tall. And so you don't have to look at all this crap. I'd say in about five years, you will not be able to see any of that drama back here. And also cut down the noise from back there. Um, usually I keep all this cleaned out, but been busy. Uh, that lily, that's another swamp lily. This one I need to, this one right here, sorry. I need to get all the weeds out from it. But there's one, two, three, four. And the property line, I'll try not to blind you. Right here, on this side of this, whatever, if you go straight down in between both that nasty trailer and the house, you go right in between, dead center where that, in the middle of that grass, that's the property line. So every time they drive back and forth through here, they're driving on the property line. I had it already had it surveyed because the, the, it comes at an angle this way. It's not a straight line, so it's at an angle. So they're driving all over the, our, the property over here. If they want to get technical about it, I will. I have nothing to lose. Um, all of that up there is Virginia Creeper. So I just leave it. I don't have anything planted over here except if you just leave this alone and every now and then come out here with some yew staples, which I'll leave, and just tack it up. Just be very, very gentle with it. This will grow all up there. Make sure I didn't get an ants. I didn't. It'll grow all up here, and that's called a bougainvillea, and that thing will just bloom like crazy. It's a vine, it's a tree. I don't care what people say when they, when we, you just need to be careful. When people tell you, oh, this is a bougainvillea vine, this is a bougainvillea bush. It's, it's a bougainvillea is a bougainvillea is a bougainvillea. Okay, you can grow it in any form you want to. If you want a vine, fine. If you want a bush, fine. If you want a tree, great. But it, just stop paying more money just because they tell you something. Do your own research any rate i managed to get all the shit that was back here yes i said shit the refrigerators the trash cans i used to keep it cleaned out but i just don't anymore all of that is junk all of it every bit of it einstein left the uh top to the truck over here on top of the tractor it's a real piece of work. He gets out here drunk and high on weed and tries to fix that truck. It's been three months. He can't figure it out. All right. Uh, this is a crepe myrtle. It's barely hanging on. It used to have this, this uh, crepe myrtle, I mean, wax myrtle growing in it. This is a highly invasive thing. It's part of that tree I had cut down. It stinks. They say that uh, it repels mosquitoes. That's bullshit. Mosquitoes live in it. So just try to keep that trim back or you're just going to get out of control. Uh, I have some fencing run all the way down there. It's for the dogs, but I'll take it down and take it with me. Or I can just leave it here. It doesn't matter to me. This is some more lemongrass, some more elephant ears that I bought at Walmart. And they're doing great. Um, this is a crepe myrtle. But I had a bougainvillea planted here. This is not a bougainvillea. This is a thorny tree. And you need to keep these things cut down to the ground. This is Virginia creeper. I may leave this here. That way, well, I'll be daggum. That is a bougainvillea. So that bougainvillea did make it. And it has a Virginia creeper growing on it. Well, these two will intertwine on these. I'll just leave these cattle panels here. I need to tack it back up. But these are crepe myrtles. They they're they grew on their own. They're very, very pretty. Lemongrass. So basically you just mow over here. You can take this down if you want to. I just had chickens in there and I will take my chicken coops. Um 
and that's about it. But you've got to stay on top of this. And I'm telling you, I would not lie to you. I mean, I would, but not right now. Uh, you need to keep on top of these thorn things. They get about that big around. And if you don't believe me, walk back there. You'll see that thing is about the, it's that big around. The needles on her are about that long. And this is a crepe myrtle. And it will, it's very, very invasive. You'll see it growing on the side of the roads. They used to make, it's a wax myrtle. Yeah, wax myrtles. They used to make candles out of it. This thing is highly, highly invasive. But this right here, that's a crepe myrtle. Leave that alone. It's that shit. That's the trailer. I don't know what to say about that. I used to have all that cleaned out. It's going to put a bench back there. So, but, you know, with a little society's rejects over there. Uh, you can't get back here and do anything. I had all these projects going, but it came to a halt because people who can't pay their rent and who are drug addicts seem to get the upper hand around here. Um, I usually call a guy named Simon. You see out here is where he just, he ain't smart at all. Just drove all through that swale, drove all the way through my yard. He's just trash. At um, any rate, Simon, I'll give you his number. Simon comes out here and he trims all this back here. And I come out here and spray because these really highly evasive elephant ears are creeping down the, the ditch and they're coming in here. See them? I keep mine dug out. They're supposed to dredge this ditch every year. They mow it and dredge it every year, but they didn't do it this year because it's just this county. It's a, this county is hexed. Uh, it's just trash. This is the property line. And remember, property lines go at an angle. They go like this. They don't go straight. They're at an angle. So this is the property line. Be careful. These are soft. These are soft edges, shoulders. And you will go down it on a lawnmower. Uh, here's another thing. When you mow back here, because all these have seeds, and these are all weeds, make the blower, you know, where it shoots out of the lawnmower, make sure it goes towards the ditch. And that'll keep it from being blown in the yard. But see how those things just invade everything? And when you cut them, if you get that juice on your hands, it will burn the fire out of you and I'm not even kidding there's nothing you can do but put baking soda on them this is the property line don't you dare I'll tear it up that's the property line that's a piece of rebarb it will kill your tractor and that telephone pole it runs right through here these people do not know how not to mow my yard so they're instead of a straight line it's all whomper snap they they don't know how to mow yards very well I also mow Ada's yard. They don't have a, there's Jean out there in the yard. They don't have a lot more. I'm mowing the diagonal just for fun. You don't have to do that. But you see how when I mow, I keep all the grass clippings over here, kind of give a visual as to where the property line is and it just falls on deaf ears. But yeah, from that telephone pole right through here is our property line. Um, generally I spray that weed killer along the edges so I don't have to weed eat. I have Simon come out here and weed eat all this mess. Because people decide that driving on other people's property and parking on other people's property happens here. I planted this uh, lemongrass for Joan. So because I would, we've been here 50 years and nobody's ever driven in someone else's front yard or parked in someone else's yard when visiting. It just doesn't happen. This is another reason why I'm moving. Um, you live in this county, you're going to see this everywhere. I'm going to be making a documentary on this particular city and county. And all of us having lived all over like we have, it's just 
extremely bad here. They never came and dredged the ditches or blew out the culvert, so you're going to have standing water and mosquitoes. That's just the way it is. You can spray if you want, but you'll kill the chickens. If that is your plan, there's only going to be mama and baby. There's no males you won't have anymore. They will not crow. They just exist and eat bugs. And we're back in the front yard. So that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them on the video and there you have it oh one more thing over here on the rental instead of Simon over here weed eating I use ground clear by ortho and spray it has to be sprayed in the sunlight and the Sun has to be on it for at least 30 minutes and I just spray along the edge down here because you can see what weed eaters do to I guess it's vinyl plastic I don't know anything about trailers but and that keeps the weeds down so when Simon comes over to mow I mean to uh, weed eat that's all he does he doesn't do anything else but weed eat it doesn't kill that I don't weed eat so I did not do that somebody else did it it's just what happens when you have cheap skirting on a trashy trailer so um i spray underneath here I spray all back there but i don't sp this is what happened when the wind blew and i was spraying it burned the plant so just be mindful of that that that's the we're going to move that and let it move over this way get it off the property line which i don't really care anymore i'm moving you know i have all these great projects and just dash because of other people's poor decision making on top of my poor decision making where I'm going I don't have to worry about this anymore uh, all right the plants in here were nannies don't overwater the Christmas cactus which are these things because this will happen uh, they bloom around Christmas these are Easter lilies if they start drooping water them You'll know when to water. Yeah, these are fine. Eh, it's getting a little droopy. It's getting a little, little droopy. Uh, I don't know what that crap's about, but... I was lied to and said there was important stuff that needed to go to the air conditioner on one of the rental properties. You need to come drive an hour to meet me. And it's a big fat lie to get me to bring back hinges and a trash can another reason I'm moving the list is long I don't smoke and I'll clean all that up I have people who do and that's their business so outside of that I think that's everything that's everything I will take paint I will make a video about what I was going to do with all the painting and that way if there's any question about what needs to be done there won't be any Thanks for watching.